Today I'm going to be giving you a simple tour of the garden. I might end up doing a harvest. I don't know. We did a harvest yesterday. I just want to see what all might possibly be ready and what needs to be fed to my chickens or not today. So today I'm going to be giving you a garden tour showing you what it's like here at the end of August. This is literally the last garden tour of my summer vacation because um, I'm going back on Friday. So that's going to be quite interesting when that ends up happening. So without any further ado, let's get into the garden tour. It's been like this the whole season. You open the door like that, you all pretty much know how it goes. Take that down and then you open this up. The goal of a door is to keep the raccoons out of the garden. Guys, last night, I'm not even joking. My, I literally looked into the chicken yard and saw raccoon eyes there not once, but twice. So they're getting into my chicken feed and I'm not too big of a fan of that. So as you guys can see, we did actually end up ripping out this whole row of strawberries. If you didn't catch my garden tour, I did, I think last week. And these guys still remained, as you can clearly see here. The reason we had to rip out that whole row is because, first of all, they were mostly dead. And second of all, the weed population was so dense that it just wasn't really worth it at all. We also got some baby blueberries earlier this year that I keep forgetting to talk about as well. And also, if you're wondering, this blueberry right over here, actually, we had to clip off all of its branches because it was dying earlier this year. I don't know why. It went, no, it was because of caterpillars. I did that in the June 28th garden tour. I talked about that. We clipped the branches off immediately and that would allow for them to actually survive. I actually am pretty sure I saw those caterpillars on a branch in another plant actually very recently. I just have to remember which one I saw them on because I know what I saw and I know what they look like. So that's gonna be quite interesting. So now let's get into the main part of the video y'all were waiting for. And that, my friends, is of course this beautiful garden. Well, you might argue it's not as beautiful as it could be, but I will say it's decent looking at best. I mean, at worst. So, actually, I'm gonna rip this weed out real quick so we can get that out of there. But these right here are our green beans, as you can see. And over here, there, as I said in my previous wheat garden tour, there was a green bean right there. That actually got ripped out when I was ripping out those like six foot five weeds over here. It was really annoying, but I got rid of the weeds and that's all I wanted because now they won't be coming back next year, hopefully. But if they do, they're gonna rip out of the ground immediately. So that shouldn't change the outcome really at all. We also planted peas over here like I did in my garden tour back in the month of June. I'm just very surprised that none of them came up. I'm literally more surprised that four-year-old green bean seeds came up. I'm not joking, those seeds were actually from 2020. I realized after I filmed that video that I used the wrong seeds and I'm like, yeah, nothing's coming up. The pea seeds were from 2023, so I don't understand why they didn't come up, but I am still in disbelief that the green beans came up. It probably is just a blessing from the heavens above that we got all these nice green beans. I mean, the green beans are all right. I had them a couple times. They weren't as good as they were in previous years, but hey, they're green beans. That's all I got to say. And right over here is our pepper patch. We'll get into the tomato patch next because there's a lot I want to talk about and a lot of stuff I have to talk about as well. Um, right over here, you can clearly see we do have peppers coming in a, a wide variety, you might even say, and some of them are knocked over, but yes, they are still alive, thankfully. The reason for that is because of the fact that these stupid thunderstorms have been hitting us. We got a nasty little thunderstorm over here today with a ton of weird looking clouds. That scared me. I need to check on the chickens real quick. I'll be back. All right. Sorry for that cut, guys. I just needed to check on my chickens because I am... I don't know what happened, but like I just built this like natural instinct to just run and check on my chickens like that when that ends up happening. But as I was talking about previously, this right here is some plants that I was talking about, except they were a bit taller than this. So I need to get to work and rip these out like literally tonight or tomorrow. And proof that the pepper plants still do produce even when upside down. Also with tomatoes. This guy's been like this for like three, four weeks. But look, he's still producing flowers. So we gotta give him his flowers for that, I guess. But yeah, we have tons of these cool looking peppers here. Tons of basil, did I forget to mention that too? Basil, yep. You can harvest basil directly at birth of the plant, as long as it has some leaves, of course. But you can begin harvesting basil pretty quickly because of the fact that it's the leaves we're actually getting the spice from. Now let's get into our tomato patch. All right, now right over here we have our tomato patch and I have a lot of stuff to talk about these guys real quick so these right here are tomatoes I'm sorry if you hear the ATV literally right as soon as I pressed the uh, stop record button a bobcat came and attacked my chickens I don't know what type of timing he's on but he needs to get off that type of timing you know he, he's definitely high right now I don't care um, but over here we have our tomato patch 
I really want to do better next year. I don't know what's causing them to look like this. Maybe it's the birds. It could be a lot of things that's actually causing this happening here in the yard. And I'm not too big of a fan of this. And the reason is because I'm worried that there's an internal issue with maybe our soil or our watering system that's causing this. But I don't think that's really the case. Also, we have sunflowers that are beginning to die back a bit. I mean, it's that time of year, guys. Sunflowers kind of have no other choice but to die back after a certain period of time in the year. So, I mean, who's surprised anyways? This right here is blooming. And this guy right here is beginning to die back a little bit. And we still have a nice looking sunflower over there. It's hard as hell, but he's still hanging in there pretty nicely. So, good for you. Shout out to the sunflower. If you're wondering about the safety of my pet flock, I'm recording right in front of their the little studio over there so they're good they're chill you know they're, they're already tucked in i got them covered like that the farm flock's still out that's why i can't really serve any protection to them so let's go on to our eggplants and we have a ton of white eggplants you never really see those at the store we also have normal eggplants which for whatever reason never bloom i don't know what's up with them but they need to bloom except for one of them one of them is actually producing decently the other one is just sitting there doing nothing just kind of existing that's the one that's producing these guys are the ones that are just being freeloaders like 80 percent of my chickens are at any given point in the year even if the weather is perfect my chickens are freeloaders just like those but the white eggplants are producing beautifully for this time of year now in here we have our cherry tomatoes and our normal tomatoes as well randomly which sadly i have to say this aren't doing too well as you can see the leaves are dying back but it's normal for this time of year my guess is i'm probably going to do my last garden tour in like two or three garden tours bro but don't worry, I have some news that I'm going to be talking about on Friday. That might bring up your mood a little bit if you love these garden tours. I like how not a single one of them broke 100 views, but I don't really care. Tons of cherry tomatoes here. As you can see, that are ready for harvest. The cucumbers, I'm just surprised they survived as long as they did, because look at this, guys. They're not alive, realistically. Some of them are. And there's also these moronic idiots that are the cause of death here. You see these guys? They look like ladybugs, but they aren't. I call them the doofus bugs. And they are going to be leaving as soon as this video clip is done. In fact, let's do it right now. I'll film again once I'm done with them. And as you can clearly see now, they are gone. There isn't any left. So that's a good sign. Now, right now, I'm not really in a mood to do a big harvest. So I'm probably just going to go around and harvest a couple things real quick. Maybe some peppers, maybe some eggplants. See what all I can quickly receive at the garden. And then probably go in, edit this, and enjoy the rest of my night. I still have some stuff to do before the beginning of the school year, as you guys probably know. So let's get into the harvest. All right, so I decided midway through the harvest today that I just went, really wasn't feeling the harvest, so I didn't get a whole lot today. I just got a basic couple of stuff out of the garden today. That's really it, nothing crazy. I just got a couple things, that's it. Also, by the way, if you enjoyed, don't forget to go down below, click that subscribe button. We're trying to reach 4K soon, but most importantly, is trying to click that video on the screen, bro. It helps improve, it helps improve me being seen, though. It's the gardening playlist, has tons of stuff there that you guys are gonna enjoy, tons of hidden gems there. I'm sure you'll find something off that playlist that'll help benefit your gardening dreams or just inspires you a little bit. So click there and I'll see you there.